For this mini obstacles quest, since you have to flip a car, it's a rather difficult thing to do, but as long as you know where to find the car, it's not really that far to do. So just make your way to this spot right here, the racetrack north of Mega City, and you're gonna find all types of cars. There's a, uh, a semi over there, but you just need a normal car. We're gonna go here. Also, you have to do this in, uh, in build mode because you need to build a ramp. So we're gonna build a ramp here. Let's just make it a little bit solid. All right, it doesn't need to be uh, this tall actually. Yeah, this is more than enough. I'm just gonna grab the car and I'm gonna try to uh, flip it like this. And there we go. I did not expect to get it on my first try, <laughs> but that's the basic idea. Of course, it has to be like it has to stay flipped. Uh, you can just keep trying this over and over again. I'm just gonna do this. Let's try to uh, get it flipped like permanently. Here we go. There it is. And it should kick me out of the car. As you can see, you just need to flip it again. You can just, you know, use it, use the, uh, like, interact with it and just flip it like this. And yeah, this is the basic idea. It's really a very easy thing to do as long as you know how to do it. Just do that and that should be the quest. For this Miyasuko's quest, it says you have to travel from Kenjutsu Crossing all the way to Naughty Nets without touching water. So basically, this is Kenjutsu Crossing. As you can see, we're going to go and land there. And we're going to make our way to this spot right here. So we don't, you don't have to, uh, like, uh, like you cannot like touch water at all. I'm gonna show you a really uh, nice way to do this. So here we go. So we're just gonna land here just uh, for it to register that we did land at Kinjutsu Crossing, and then we're just gonna exit. I'm gonna go to the gas station right here. All right. So this counts as landing. Now we're gonna bounce. We need the car because uh, we don't want to walk all the way to their side. Here we go. So that's the gas station. I'm gonna show you what to do exactly. Come on, come on. I don't like the fact that I don't have a weapon, but hopefully I'll find one on the way. Okay, here we go. We got ourselves an SMG. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, we're gonna grab a vehicle. And we're gonna bounce. Okay. So let me just ping the spot that we're gonna go to. It's gonna be this spot. Here we go. Come on, dude. All right. So there's the spot. So as you can see, there's uh, naughty nets right there. But we cannot touch water, so all of this is out of the question. Of course, if you're playing build mode, you can just build. <laughs> but let's say you are playing zero build and you like a challenge. You can just go here. And as you can see, there's a zip line here that actually... No, 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 no. Ah! Dude, I almost touched water, man. <laughs> <laughs> just by accident so as you can see there's a zip line here that takes you literally that it links between like these two puys and there's another one right here as you can see so right there i'm just gonna do this and here we are at naughty nets as you can see we did not touch water another way to do this is to use geysers so the spot where i came from there's actually a geyser that, geyser that you can use here it is so we can use this to go up Let's just wait for it to, um, like, activate again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, send me up. Come on. Let's go, okay, here we go. So you can also use the geyser, as you can see, and just make your way to the PUI. Or, like I said, the third and final way, it's the zipline on this side. There's actually a geyser behind it as well. So yeah, that's like at least four ways to do it. It's really, really simple. Just make sure to grab the um, like the bike from the gas station. It's very easy to do. And yeah, here we go. We're at Naughty Nets without touching the water. It's as simple as this. For this Miyasuko's quest, it says you have to carry a full stack of ammo for 10 uh, meters. So basically, you need to have yourself full ammo. And one of the best ways to do that is to literally go to the Munitions Expert uh, NPC, which is this NPC right here. So they're going to be located right over here at Fallow, whatever. I forget the, the rest of the name, but it's basically this gas station right here. And uh, once, once you hire them, make sure you hire them for 200 uh, gold. As you can see, uh, from time to time, they're going to, um, like every, I think, 10 seconds, I think, or something like that. Uh, they should be uh, like throwing you some ammo. So th this time they threw me some grenades. I'm just going to take that. I'm just going to wait ahead a little bit. And they should give me ammo. Come on, come on, come on. Also, another best way to uh, like reach max ammo is to literally go to uh, vending machines and buy the ammo from the machine itself. Let's wait here. They should give me in a second. It shouldn't take like more than... Yeah, there we go. All right. So as you can see, 30 ammo right there. I think the max ammo for, uh, for assault rifles is uh, 500. So it's going to take a while to reach that. We're at 90 right now. 
Uh, but yeah, like I said, you can just also go to vending machines. This one is a vending machine, so we can't really buy ammo from it. Uh, but basically, in main PUIs, such as this one right here, for example, you'll find a vending machine selling you uh, ammo, and you can just buy it from the vending machine itself. And yeah, there's also the uh, the normal way of doing this, which is to literally like eliminate as many players as you can and collect ammo from them. And then you literally just walk. You just walk for 10 meters. It's literally as simple as that. So these are ten, this is like 8 meters. 10 meters so once you have uh, like full ammo a full stack of ammo as you can see he keeps, she keeps giving me like ammo and like i have 30 and you just walk this 10 meters it's literally as simple as this just the only problem here is collecting the ammo itself so make sure you get yourself a max sta a full stack of ammo travel 10 meters and that should could be the quest for this miyazuko's quest since you have to get eliminated nine times but basically it's a play on the uh, nine lives of a cat so we just need to accept death <laughs> so there was somebody shooting at me here i don't know where they went but you basically just Find yourself somebody who is willing to kill you, which is not that hard to do. I'm pretty sure he was here. He should shoot me. Yeah, there we go. There he is. Hey there, buddy. Just gonna accept death. Here we go. Come on, man. I'm right in front of you, dude. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Right here. Right here. One more. Uh, you got this. There it is. So we need to literally accept death nine times. Let somebody kill you. It's as simple as that. Just land uh, near somebody who is like uh, landing at a hot drop. I highly recommend just going to this spot right here, Mega City. Because if you don't know, Mega City will never have bots inside of it. So everybody who lands here is basically going to be a sweat. And they're going to kill you really, really fast. So yeah, get yourself uh, like killed in the game nine times. And that's your the quest. For this Miyazuko's quest, it says you have to deal 7,500 damage to players. Which is a lot. Especially if you're doing this like in normal mode. As you can see. Come on. So yeah, that was around 200 damage. The basic idea is for you to deal 7,500. So I highly recommend doing this either in team rumble mode or zero build mode. Because people cannot like build and hide. So you can just keep dealing free damage to them. Uh, but yeah, the better way and the best way to do this is to jump into a team rumble mode game. Grab yourself a good like uh, assault rifle. Go ahead and upgrade it and an upgrade bench. Uh, upgrade benches can be found at each main PUI, like named location. So you can go ahead and upgrade the weapon and just, you know, keep dealing damage until you hit 7,500 and that should be the quest. It is as simple as that.